What up, what up, what up? It's the real ill noise back again with another video. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, turn on all post notifications, and leave a comment. <clears throat> well, today uh I'm at the laundromat again on my off day. You know, that's what I do. Has to be done. Can't wait till I get my own washing and dryer, which is hopefully coming soon. But with that comes your water bill and electricity bill getting higher. So, I mean, but at least it's just you know who been washing in your clothes, where you've been washing your clothes. You go to the public, man, you got to be extra careful because there's some nasty people out here. Very nasty. But anyway, um... I just had a tube for it, and I swear I hope I don't got a dry socket. Y'all pray for me. I think it's just because it's in pain, so the nerves and stuff and all that stuff, because it was a cavity. But y'all pray for me, though. I'm good, though. I'm good. I'm not complaining. I'm good. I'm among the living, so I'm good. But uh, what I was going to talk about real fast is confrontational people I try to stay away from for the most part but we all have them in our family we might even be living with people that's confrontational okay now maybe you don't know what confrontational is so allow me to elaborate okay A confrontational person, what they do most of the time, they say stuff to try to get up under your skin. They like to argue. If you say blue, they gonna say red. If you say red, they gonna say blue. If you agree with them and go about what you what they want you to do. Then they'll still end up changing and you like, I just said that. So, yeah, you're going to, you, you're going to deal with them. You're going to deal with them. As long as you're living, you're going to deal with people that's like that. And, and some of them in your family, like I said, and you might even live with some people that do it. Now, my thing is, if you know a person has anger issues why would you be confrontational with them some say they don't even know they be doing it i say that's bs because before you open your mouth you thought about what you're going to say unless you have tourettes and i don't know exactly what it is but i know you blur out i think i said it right i think you start blurring out stuff just out out the blue so maybe a lot of people have it and don't know it ain't because they ain't been diagnosed with it yet i don't know but yeah it's crazy y'all very crazy and there's no way of like you really can't deal with it <laughs> like you want to and you don't want to curse nobody out or hurt their feelings but sometimes you know it make you want to you know say something to them because they have to understand or be aware of what they doing and if not then maybe you need to tell them because maybe they're not aware of it you can say it in a nice the nicest way you can and i'm sure they still going to reverse it on you and try to say what you trying to say or something like that so i mean teach his own but i do not like it I, I like i don't like to argue now i'm not saying when i say something my word is law all the time or you shut up when i'm talking or anything like that but when when someone is talking to you at least get them the, the respect that's due and let them finish I do it sometimes too I'm gonna tell you like when you say 
I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, you do. Because you took time to say, I don't mean to cut you off. Now, I do it most of the time because I can't say I, uh, I'm not perfect. The only time I said not to cut you off is because I'm about to forget what I'm going to say. That's different in a sense, but it's still, you, you, you're still being rude. So I have too been rude. But I do sometimes, you know, if somebody long-winded and don't give you a chance to talk, that's when I end up having to do it because I forget what I'm finna say. Now, just like when somebody, someone said, I don't mean to be rude. Yes, you, yes, you do. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. You know why? Because if you saying you don't mean to be rude, then don't be rude. And then you won't have to say, I don't mean to be rude. You see what I'm saying? That's how that works. You know what I'm saying? It's just little things like that, man. You know, so people that like to be confrontational practice yoga or something, meditate, do something, read up on it. Because see, you could call someone to do some harm to you, and you're not even aware of it. Having the last word, they say women always have the last word. That's not true all the time. But even that's confrontational. Like if it takes, they always say it takes two fools, to, it takes two people to argue. If you shut up, then they, they'll shut up, which is hard. Especially if they talking some stuff that ain't even valid or even actual factual. But as you get older, you're learning a woo side and let it go in one ear and not the other. Well, that's all I got to say right now. So y'all be blessed. Y'all be careful out there. And don't let this weather this weekend how you think in this spring or summer and you be somewhere sick. You still got to dress. It's hoodie time. It's hoodie season. Put you a hoodie on. Because if you up in the morning... It's going to be chilly. Then when they, and they have a shirt on, a long sleeve shirt underneath that hoodie. You don't have to wear a coat this weekend if it's going to be warm like that. But just dress dress, and prepare just in case. And just if you if it get too hot, you can take the hoodie off. But if it, if it get too cold and it don't reach the temperatures they saying it's going to get, then you, you're without because you didn't dress right. I right, ain't your daddy or your mama or nothing like that. I'm just... Trying to show y'all some love. So appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And see y'all next time.